Good morning, everyone, and how are you doing? Welcome to another new episode of Gallery Art at the Getty Museum. Let me introduce myself to new visitors. My name is Christina, and it's nice to meet you. Well, I am going to take my time explaining abstract painting too in what Tyrone has created at Sea Sun while he was taking art classes because Timley is not going to be there. Timely is on vacation in Las Vegas. Also, can you guys see the project of abstract art pieces hanging on the wall? So, let's discuss another episode of abstract painting. There is an idea in the pieces that it is a common fallacy that abstract art is made by artists who can't draw, have no academic training, or are just spastic. Let me explain what I want to share with you to bring this up in relation to what Tyrone did with another project of two art pieces. I am going to show you the slide to share my comments with you when I took his picture with my digital camera while I used to go to class with Tyrone. So, I do believe that most Americans who just want to look at artists' abstract paintings brainstorm while creating projects, putting them down on paper, tablet, or laptop first and then transferring them to the canvas. What Tyrone did was also created with strips because, when placed on a wall, an abstract painting gives the viewer the freedom to interpret it as they choose. It's no wonder they make such remarkable home decorations, but how do you go about selling abstract paintings? So, I will say that whoever could be humor, imagination, friendship, jealousy, success, love, growth, happiness, hope, or wisdom abstract thinking, also known as abstract reasoning, involves the ability to understand and think about complex concepts that, while real, are not tied to concrete experiences, objects, people, enjoyment, or situations. Even though the technique may seem simple and haphazard, it emerges from a place of deep thought and great meaning. Rather than focusing on the truthful depiction or realistic imitation of an object, Abstract art looks at other non-objective artistic elements of shape, form, color, and line. Abstract techniques have been used by artists to explore ideas beyond the canvas and our physical reality. Abstract paintings dominated by blue, and gray did indeed sell for significantly more cash at auction than any other primary or secondary color. Abstract art is art that does not represent an accurate depiction of visual reality communicating instead through lines, shapes, colors, forms, and gestural marks. From my experience, what Tyrone did was create different shapes with squares, lines, strips, and colors and see their expression in moving around. I do believe it is like a present. Now let's move on to the next project that Tyrone did. What Tyrone did was show that he has a unique voice that provokes interest permitting both artists and viewers a distinct sense of freedom and expression. Despite its often chaotic and spontaneous appearance, Tyrone possesses a structure that is composed of six key elements, color, shape, form, texture, line, and value. Now, in Tyrone, many untrained and untalented people engage in behaviors that result in paint being applied to surfaces in ways that result in unrecognizable imagery. Tyrone put in hard work and experience to create an abstract masterpiece that charmingly represents the deep meaning being portrayed by the artist. As a result, there aren't any deductions in the prices of abstract paintings for sale. It's still important to understand how to create form and how to use artistic elements like form, light, color, and line properly. These are skills that you learn when you take classes that emphasize traditional art skills. I do believe that Tyrone has become his own creative force with his imagination and rhythm when he created the different colors with shapes and squares that are floating around together. I do believe that it took Tyrone three to four days to get his work done in creating the construction that was done in 2007 or 2008. I do feel the project is an expression of dimensional space. I do see the portrait imagery as an aggressive statement to be successful in creating his own project. It was based on an object, which could be geometric shapes or gestural marks. I do believe each canvas is 40 by 30 inches and 30 by 40 inches. 
All the canvas was done in the fall of 2007 at Sea Sun. Tyrone examined his own thoughts just like his art history textbook and their associated traditions on every continent of the world. These other two abstract painting pictures remind me to be expressive and attractive to me, because it does seem a great way to incorporate Tyrone's abstract art pieces to surround it with other complementing mediums such as photography, minimal sketches, or even classic style portraits and landscapes. I am sure other people, customers, and audience members will see the YouTube channel and want to look and afford to buy it because they are very interested in Tyrone's artwork. I do feel these other abstract paintings are effective, and they do show a different variety of colors and an interesting image of American people. I do understand that when people spend more time on intelligent artists who enjoy looking at the projects, they may want to purchase them. Tyrone was creative when he was taking Art 326 in the fall of 2007 with his professor, Tim Forkham. Now I'm going to move forward to the price list to share with you what kind of size people want when they purchase them. Whoever wants to decide to purchase, please send us an email at samplevideo194 at gmail.com, or your business email is art underscore gallery project look at outlook.com. So far, that's all we have to cover with another episode of Abstract Painting 2. That say it's all. Now I really enjoy spending a lot of time talking about Tyrone's project with two abstract art pieces in what I bring up to share this information. I'm so sorry that Tim Lee didn't show up today to talk about his painting. It took a lot of energy to be confusing, even threatening to some who are not used to assigning their own meaning to what they see before them. It was worth the trouble that Tyrone had put in to complete his project for his assignment at home or in class. I hope this information is helpful today, and this will end our session. Now to purchase our art project regarding his abstractive masterpieces for the canvas size for regular price and heavy price. Please email us at sample at gmail.com or business email at art underscore gallery project LLC at outlook.com. Please don't forget to leave a brief editorial in the comment section of your YouTube channel about what you think about these two projects. Your comments are much needed and greatly appreciated by the channel. Or you could leave your email comments if you have any other questions, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. It could also be reached on the social media platform. Thanks, and have a good day.